Yo, 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 uh, uh, Sports Plus Life Quickie or Sports Plus Life Talking Ish, however you want to look at it, but um, we still we still kind of tripping about this uh, this Oscars incident. David! What up, what up, what up? Hey, man, you just saw it. You just, like, David was behind the times. You just saw it. What you think about it, man? Hey, Fresh Prince out here slapping niggas. Uh, he got jiggy with, with Chris Rock face. <laughs> That was silly. That was silly. Hey, but my thing is, he wouldn't have slapped nobody else who did it. Like he had to, he had to test this gangster with like a not a lesser black dude, but somebody who who was on his level to slap. I would say lesser in stature. <laughs> yes, that's it. His lesser in stature. He wouldn't have slapped Fifty Cent. No, me and uh, me and Calvin was talking about it yesterday. He said uh, Calvin said he wouldn't have smacked Jamie Fox. No, he wouldn't have slapped Jamie Foxx. He, he wouldn't have slapped anybody else who would have threw hands with him. Right, like, and... The, you, like, you could punch me, that's something different. Then it's like, all right, when you raise your hands, you slap me, that's that's something totally different. That's disrespect for real. That is so disrespectful. That's, that's, so, that's like in the old England days, when you used to slap a motherfucker with a glove, like I challenged you to a duel. <laughs> you would slap a grown-ass, you would slap a grown-ass man, dog. Yes. Chris Rock should have went to the Chris Rock should have went to the trunk on his ass. I don't give a shit who you are. I'm gonna murder you. <laughs> Will was um, West Philadelphia, born and raised, right there. But Chris Rock from the BK, though. Exactly. That's why I said Chris Rock should have went to the trunk on his ass. Well, should've. the thing is, is that if you watch it, like if you watch it again, mm. um, you see when he hits him, Chris Rock pull his right hand out his pocket and ball up his fist. Yeah, but, but what from what I heard is, you know, he said the 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 program director was literally right in front of him. Like you you couldn't see him but he was right in front of him where you could see him. And then Will Packer, he could see him out the corner of his eye. Because that's the messed up thing about it. Will Packer, you know, the first black man to host the Oscars after all that fuss has been made, and then Will Smith does that like over a joke. Cause the joke was a mile like you know, Chris Rock was a presenter. He wasn't even hosting. He was presenting an award, and he was going around the room roasting niggas like he always do. He he said something to Denzel. He said something to this other couple. Then he got to Will and Jada. And, yeah, it is like, he's a comedian, bro. That's what he do. That's literally how he made his money. Like, man, get out your feelings, bro. You know what your wife did. You know what you did. You know what that broad did. Come on now. Stop being... Like, why you didn't slap her when she had August Alcine all of them guts? And that's the you thing about it. Her? Like, she didn't, she didn't pretty much clown this dude on the red table talk and all of that, the entanglement and stuff like that. And it's like, I understand he's trying to protect his wife, but has your wife protected you? Right. I mean, she's been, she, she been down to you from the longest. Like I said, that was sound, he wouldn't want to slap Pac like that. Oh, hell, hell no. No. Pac would have drugged him. Pac would have drugged him. <laughs> drugged him outside and Suge Knight would have finished them all. But Suge Knight ain't got shit better to do anyway. <laughs> hung his ass out for the, from the same balcony he hung, hung vanilla ice from. I'm weak. I'm fucking weak. I'm just saying, they'd have been hanging partners. <laughs> <laughs> they'd have been hanging partners. He'd still been on that balcony messing around. I mean, I but, understand the, um, you know... I didn't know that Jada had actually suffered from the, you know, oh, I forget what it's called. The, um, There's some big long ass name. Uh, uh, the missus told me that the other Lep- day. Lapita or something like that. Something like that, yeah. Something like that's that. Some long ass name. Yeah, but I didn't she, know she that. I didn't, yeah, I, yeah, I didn't know that she was suffering from that. I didn't know because Jada always wear her hair short. Like, Correct. Like she in all, yeah, in all but her movies, she always wear her that. hair short. So but now she's losing her hair. Yeah, so when he made the G.I. Jane joke, I thought it was funny as hell because she always wears her hair short. Correct. Correct. And it, it so is, I don't think Chris Rock meant it like he's seen her like and said, all right, yo, you know what I'm saying? G.I. Jane, love to see it. He was making that point comedy reference like, all right, seeing you with your hair short, think about G.I. Joe, G.I. Jane. Like, yeah. all right. And I don't even know if, off. I don't even know if he knew that she has, you know, that she was suffering from that type of condition. 
So it was almost like Will was trying to overcompensate because, like I said on the podcast yesterday, he was laughing until she gave him the sour power face. The sour face, and then she got the power to say, okay, well, you ain't getting none of these guts no more. You ain't getting none of these guts no more. You ain't going to get none of these guts for a while. August would have did something. And then he, like, overcompensated by turning into Mike Lowry and slapping the shit out of this nigga. Correct. 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 He, he, he felt like he had to be the biggest nigga in the room. And then he went up and he did something. And that's what he chose to do. Now, I heard that he apologized. He he sent out an apology yeah. yesterday, but, you know, <laughs> I mean, I don't know, you know, I've never met Will Smith. I don't know his intentions. But one thing that that is get that I've seen too often that when a celebrity does something or a public figure does something that's generally messed up. They come with the with the apology, the BS apology. Like you don't even know Will Smith wrote that apology because it was an IG post. You know what I'm saying? That could have so, been, been his agent or something like that. Exactly. So there. you don't know, and, and and I'm not trying to pile on the Will Smith, but that's that that wasn't a public apology. That was you right. know that was black and white. That was written, and like I said, his publicist could have did it, his agent could have did it. You know, right. you know he had the chance to apologize because remember he won the Academy Award like. Ten minutes after he slapped the nigga. Damn, you got the public, you got the uh, Academy Award for best slap in the Academy Award. <laughs> <laughs> best right hand in the in a closed building. <laughs> but the Chris Rock credit, Chris Rock never rubbed his chin. <laughs> hey, look, Chris Rock a tough motherfucker. He's, he's short in stature, but I, I think he can take a punch. Well, you, we saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. But what I'm saying um, is, is Will Smith had the chance when he accepted the award um, for the um, King Richard, which I thought was an okay movie. I wouldn't have, like, to me, it wasn't his best acting job. Like, it wasn't Pursuit of Happiness, Concussion, no, or Bad no, Boys, no, Will Smith. Like that. No, hell no. You hell know what no, I'm saying? No, but he's, um, he's played better roles than that. Yeah, exactly. But no, he had a he chance had then to role. apologize to Chris Rock then so the world could see it. He apologized to everybody else but Chris Rock. So I but definitely Rock, will but... I, I definitely will question the sincerity of the uh, apology because, one, it wasn't a public apology because it was a typed apology. Anybody could have did uh, that. If you want to apologize to Chris Rock, come on IG or meet him in person and be like, hey, my bad, bro. Yeah, and, uh, and then two, y'all both grown men. You know where Chris Rock be at. Y'all probably chill in the same circle. Yeah. Go shout Chris Rock out and be like, yo, bro, my fault. Um, I ain't mean that shit. You may have me feel some type of way. My bad. We could have squashed that before it even came out like that. Be done with it. And, um, I mean, like I, said, like I said yesterday, it's so many layers to peel back from this. How soft are we as a society that, now we going up and slapping comedians for, for making a joke. Right, because if that's the case, you know how many times Kevin Hart's little short ass should have been tossed around? Kevin mm. Hart's little stumpy ass should have been thrown to the wolves. Kevin Hart, now that's what I said, that's not a Chris Rock joke. That's a Kevin Hart joke. But not just Chris Rock. Think about D.L. Hughley. Um, D.L. Hughley, that's what he was known for. D.L. Hughley used to roast niggas on a regular yeah, that's that's it. That, he will literally would roast the crowd. I mean, but you got to bring it back further than that. Like Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor. Yeah, yeah. Rob, Rob, uh, Robin Harris. You know, um, well, that's that's what they do. Yeah. Like, how soft are we now? As it's, like I said, it, and what makes it worse, like I don't know if Chris Rock knew about her hair condition, but a GI Jane reference is the lowest form of roasting that I could think of because, bro, there were so many. Like I like. I, if I'm a comedian and somebody come up and slap me and I know about your past history, bro, I'm giving you every reason to come back on stage because now I'm going right. low. Now I'm going real right. low. <laughs> yeah, exactly, bro. That's why we used to crack at the table, bro. That's what, back, in, ex- back in the days exactly. when we used to crack on each other at the table. Exactly. You don't get mad. You come back. Exactly, because that's all we used to do. For, for y'all, for those of you who don't know, all we used to do in... In school, from elementary school all the way yeah. to the end of high school, all we used to do was sit at the lunch table and crack on each other time and time and time again. The yo mama jokes would be flying. The only time you didn't say yeah. nothing about somebody's mama is if they did. If they did. Yeah, if the only they, time, mama, that, that was a rule. Mama, that's cold in the streets. Yeah, that was a rule. Those, no, that's cold in the streets. Right? Yeah, that was, that was, that was cold like that. in the joking game. If you got a family member who's dead, you leave them out of it. 
Mm-hmm. Other than that, n- other, anybody it's can get game. it. It's fair game. Anybody can get it. That's it. You know, if you're feeling some type of way, don't step to the table. You don't. You know, just 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 laugh amongst yourself. That's because right. you know, because if you you know if you were in that because we had you know the big ass rectangle tables they were in <sighs> sections. If you was in that section where niggas was going at each other, you know you you gotta have thick skin. You gotta That's have right. thick skin. And like I said, the only rule is don't talk about nobody <laughs> dead family member. That's it. Other than that, your mom got one leg. We talking yeah, about the she, leg, she, bro. Yeah. Your yeah. mom got one leg. She's terrible about an ass kicking contest. Yeah. We, hey, your, your mama got one leg. We giving her a standing ovation. That's it. <laughs> yeah, hey, your mama was at home last night by herself listening to Criss Cross. Jump around. Jump. You know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> what you doing. What you doing? What you saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen, house pain and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and my man got no arms. Clap, clap on the back of her neck. Yeah, clap on the back of her neck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Hey, you gotta have thicker skin. You gotta than have that. thicker like skin said, than that. Like you said, it's terrible in society nowadays. When we gotta watch and we gotta censor comedians. And I think it was um Eddie Murphy, I think, who said it when. We have to watch what we're saying, and we gotta apologize. No, that was, oh, Ch- Chappelle. Chappelle. Yeah, I was, say, I was Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. Yeah. And we gotta censor ourselves as comedians because society itself don't know what to laugh at. Because we're in a society of bitch ass niggas. That's exactly what it is. Because we're in a society niggas. of bitch ass niggas. Mm-hmm. You know, it's crazy because yeah, because like that. I mean, and we did that. I mean, bro, we sat, we cracked <laughs> on each other. From goddamn nine years old to current time, I mean, I'm talking, but I'm talking about actually in amongst the people in school. We cracked on each other from elementary school throughout all the way throughout high school, and you just, I mean, because what there was a point in time, what there was a point in time where we replaced cracking with freestyling, and we, and we would freestyle crack on each other. Yeah, you know, like, yeah. yeah, man. But but that's that's like if you can't laugh. At something somebody say to you, and what is you really doing with yourself, man? Right, you man. gotta laugh at it. That, that's humor, right? And I, I get it that, like you said, we're one of the defenders, women, and everything like that. I get it as a man. That's what you're supposed to do. But he ain't come up and put his put his hands on her or nothing like that. Then what was you defending? What was you really defending at that moment? Exactly. You know what I'm saying. Exactly. What was you defending? Especially when you was laughing yourself. So you go from laughing to seeing her face to slapping a nigga to now you screaming, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Right. What you defended? You 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 have initially went from zero to sixty, then sixty to one hundred, and now you one of them bitch ass niggas. Because you know, did you have that energy with the red table talk, the entanglement, August Alzina? Did you show that same type of energy? You know, right. and then then, then Jaden Smith gonna tweet, and this is how we do it. Shut your bitch ass up, man. You the last one who need to talk. Like for Dude, real, man. You you get you get a normal haircut. Maybe we'll look at you different. <laughs> Maybe we'll look at you different. Like your barber ain't wake up drunk that morning and was like, all right. So what I'm gonna do, right? <laughs> what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna scratch my balls with the clipper, and I'm gonna run it across the middle of the top of your head. Bam! There you go. That's all you. <laughs> That's all you. They, now you you a trendsetter. Like, I mean, shut your little Kanye want to be ass up, man. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. That boy ain't never been in a fight, ain't going to be in a fight, and the day he does get in a fight, he losing. He losing. <laughs> I'm putting 200 grand on that one. Right. Losing that fight. <laughs> losing. And then he teach you how to fight. I mean, and bro, it's like, people like, this is like, look, you know what the hell I've been through in my life. I know what the hell you've been through in your life. I mean, we family, obviously, but yeah. but I've been through, you know, you know, I've been through some traumatic shit. I don't take nothing seriously, bro. And the, the one of the, I think the best qualities about myself is my sense of humor because I can sit there and joke on myself. I don't take mm-hmm. myself too seriously. If you want to joke on me, there were times when there were times when I was younger and, and people would joke on me and I would feel some type of way. I ain't never let it be shown because you know what? I'm going to come back. I'm coming back on your ass. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming back, and then you know, in an event, and then it, you know, eventually, like I said, I don't take myself seriously at all. 
You know what I'm saying? Not at all. Yeah. To you know, to the point where like, yes, joke on me because I said this yesterday. When I joke on people, you know what I'm saying? I don't it's not coming from a place of malice. I mean no harm by it. It's all funny. It's That's all it. funny to me. Just like when we when we had the um when I called y'all about the reaction to the Super Bowl halftime show. And we were sitting there joking on fifty cent. <laughs> mm, mm. But the but the thing about it is, <laughs> you said that nigga look like a you said that nigga look like a fifty cent piece. That shit had me yeah. rolling. Yeah, that's but the thing about it is, cent fifty cent don't take himself that seriously. Where he was joking on himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what and, I'm saying? And that's the that's the stature where he's at. Yeah, like you, he can do that. I mean, like, are you that insecure about yourself? Where and for, or, or, I mean, I don't know, I don't know because it's just like. It's like Jada holds some type of a power over Will that it's like it's not normal, bro. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, every it's like it's like Jada wants to be as big a star as Will, and she's not, and she's almost envious and jealous of it to where like she emasculates him to make to keep him feeling insecure because it's, it's, it's in a different matter that she's doing it. The whole way that Jada's doing it, but the way that Will should have reacted to that. He should have came back with some French French, some fresh print shit. He should have joked on him and be like, "Oh, I'll hit him with the old fresh Prince laugh," and then joked on Chris Rock, and they could have just went back and forth with it. Or now, he could have just met funny. Chris Rock backstage and be like, "Bro, what was up with the joke?" and gave Chris Rock a chance to explain himself. Either a right. apologize or b say, "I'm a comedian. Fuck you, nigga. This is what I do." Now, if he answers with b, "Fuck you, nigga," okay, smack the shit out of him then. But ain't no cameras around. Not that I'm condoning violence. I'm just saying there are different ways that you should go about handling that situation. Right, 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 right. Because that right there, they was already sketching on letting black folks be on a war show in the first place. Exactly. Exactly. Man, bro, as soon as as soon as (laughs) Will Smith started screaming, I just heard Dave Chappelle's voice. They should have never gave you niggas money. They should have never gave you niggas money. Now on the Oscars, now they're looking at us like we all like rappers. Yeah, and that's that's the part that pisses me off, bro. Is that like mm-hmm. when one black person does something out the way, does something yeah. controversial or does something unnecessary, the whole mm-hmm. race has to suffer for it. Correct. That don't happen Correct. with no other race but African Americans, bro. Yep. You know what yep. I'm saying? Like yep. if, if, like Will Smith Will Smith fucked up in front of the world for the whole world to see. And it's all now all black people fucked up. Everybody like that, you know. They 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 turn the Oscars into the Source Awards. God damn niggers. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep keep that shit on BET. You know what I'm exactly, exactly. Yeah. And, and they already was looking at Will Smith. They're like, no, he's one of the sensible niggers. He, <laughs> he don't do shit like that. He plays golf. Well, you know what I'm saying. Now we see that Fifty Cent. Oh, he does that shit all the time. He used to sell crack. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no, not, now they're looking at every black person like with an extra careful eye. Bro. Like, no, Will Smith, Will Smith out here smacking people. <laughs> what, what do you think L.O. Cool J out here doing? Hey, bro. Uh, L.O. Cool J out here got his little, got his son out here selling, selling snack. Man, bro, bro, like, I wish I could walk up to a nigga and just smack him and nothing happened. Like, right. You know what I walked up to somebody and just smacked him in the face, I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail, bro. Like, Will Smith <laughs> just did that, smacked them, sat back down like nothing ever happened. <laughs> he, nothing he really... happened. Wasn't no cops backstage waiting for him. They didn't pull up his arrest history. Nothing. What? He just sat back down, on with the show. Yeah, like, he really thought he was Mike. He really thought he was Mike Lowry, bro. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nothing happened to his ass. <laughs> I like I all, was, and in real life, that's something I was I could see Martin doing, not Will Smith. Yeah, Martin does shit like that. <laughs> Martin do shit like that. But, 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 but goddamn Will Smith, nah. Now nah, when when people were saying that shit, it's like Will Smith slapped Chris Rock. I'm like, Are you sure you mean Martin Lawrence did some shit like that? Like. <laughs> Will Smith oh, is supposed to be these goddamn new age rappers. Yeah, Will Smith they is supposed to be like the action version of Bill Cosby without the roofies. And right, <laughs> right, right. Goddamn, when they told me to sit back in the day, like Will, Bill Cosby out here roofie bitches. Like, no, nah, man. And then we still got Cardi B out here walking free. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. She robbing niggas and raping niggas. <laughs> 
See, and Cardi B still one of the most polarizing female rappers to ever walk the earth. Because there are three different races in America. Really, right. really, 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 it's three different races in the world. My race, your race, and rich people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it. That's there's three different races in the world, and and you should and and you, you should, y'all should go ahead and tweet that shit. There's okay. three different races in the world: my race, your race, and rich people. Because what Will Smith did was some rich people shit, but because of the his skin tone, that was some nigga shit. And now all of us are, are being are being pre labeled and judged by it. But it was some rich people shit because nothing happened. Because because nothing, nothing, nothing happened. Let a nigga do that shit. Oh, he gonna survive. Bruh, if me and you walked up to somebody and smacked the shit out of him, we in jail, bruh. Yeah, that's assault. 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 people <clears throat> people he has been like that our whole life this is he is not putting on for the for the podcast this is david he's been like oh, this his entire life oh, slap, oh, slap the shit out you good morning what do you mean what do you mean you must have just won a lottery that's what you did now i want half now i want half i take one of your kids slap the shit out of them See, they think it's a good morning oh it's 42 degrees outside man Slap you again. Slap <laughs> you again. Stupid ass. And we would be in jail if we did some shit like that. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the crazy right. part. Yeah, but somebody like Will Smith would get away with the baby. The baby, uh, he's, he's 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 crossing that line. He's crossing the line. Mm-hmm. And he'll still walk out. I saw that jump with the baby that beat a dude ass with his whole squad at the bowling alley. He's Man. still walking around. Man, Will Smith is going to be replaced now by Tyler Perry. And that's terrible. Yeah, that's and, terrible. And, and with the conditions that he wear the dress at least three times a year. Uh, right? Exactly. Uh, I got my own thoughts on that right there. Like I said. <laughs> hey, bro, uh, I thought Medea's homecoming was great, but that Beyonce shit afterwards, that was too much. Uh like you do Man, know look, that you're you're still a dude, right? Look, if that's how you want to make his money, oh, I ain't knocking uh, his hustle. I ain't knocking his hustle. It was just a bit too much for me. Yeah, all of his shit is too much for me. I respect this hustle, but too much for me. I said, Dave Chappelle ain't never done that. No, nah, nah, but Dave Chappelle what? a different breed, bro. He's 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 from the latter end of the. Uh, of the priors and of the, the storytellers and all. Yeah, the storytellers. The storytellers. Should make you laugh. It's only a couple right. of them left. It really, it really is, bro. It really is. Going back to the original point, man. Dave, uh, Eddie sense. Griffin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Guys like do that, he will be them. Yeah. Guys like them, man. If you can't laugh at this shit, man, you don't. Yeah, you man. Ain't gonna make it. Yeah, you ain't man. Gonna make it. Yeah. Again, you was laughing, and now your laughing turned into, I'm going to fuck you up. I mean, that's... <laughs> if that was the case, I would have respected him more if he just came out and said, all right, I'm going to fuck you up, then rush the stage. And if that was the case, why you hear that pistol on you? Yeah, I mean, if he said that, if he just, if he if he gave him a fair warning and said, I'm about to smack the shit out your ass, at least Chris Rock could have got ready to defend himself. Right. Chris Rock wasn't ready for that shit. That's what I said. After looking at it, Chris Rock wasn't prepared for that. Bro, you know they have given rocket fuel to every comedian in the world, bro. Uh-huh. Cause first thing uh-huh. comedians gonna come out and they gonna ask him like, "Is there anybody in this bitch too sensitive?" If it is, right. I advise you get out now. Cause right. they tried that on DC Young Fly a year ago. Dude ran up on him doing a stand up, and DC beat the shit out of him. Right. Right. So now it's just like, look. Are there any Will Smiths in the audience? 
please. Is Will Smith himself? Are there the anyone? Audience. Yes, is Will Smith himself in the audience? <laughs> Right. If there is, I, I I I ask you with all due respect, get the fuck out. Right? Is anybody is anybody allergic to laughing in the crowd? Because <laughs> I will shoot the shit out you. Exactly. I have a right. gun on my waist. Run up if you want to. <laughs> Click clack pow pow. Yeah. You're gonna take two to the kneecap. <laughs> You're gonna be walking out of this motherfucking ambulance. And then I'm gonna ask you, is it funny now, motherfucker? Let me stop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's just bad the society we're in, man. When shit go from it's funny, and then next thing you know, you get assaulted. Well, I mean, honestly, I hope, I hope, I just, I hope that they can squash it, and because Will, Will really does owe that man. I mean, it doesn't even have to be a public apology. It could be an apology that the public never sees, but he, he, he really does owe Chris Rock. You know, they really need to hash it out like grown black men because they grown black men from the same era, right around the same age. You know, they've been famous for about the same amount of time. So they need to really hash it out like grown men. And, you know, hopefully they can move past that because Chris Rock going to get money off of that shit. He going to get he got a bag coming to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised Chris Rock, he get that Dave Chappelle bag coming. Oh yeah, because you know his next stand up is gonna be must see TV, and and, and and quiet as is kept, they did us that mean and and as ignorant as that act was, they actually did a solid for the Oscars. Oh yeah, because the Oscars probably was the most watched joint. Bruh, the probably Oscars the after the the Oscars uh, before Will Smith slapped Chris Rock, they said it was nine million about not had about nine million people watching. They said after the slap, 17 million started was watching. So you damn near doubled up because of a 10 second moment. And one thing that this society loves, unfortunately, to be honest with you, is controversy and loves drama. So, you know, when the Oscars come around at the same time next year, that's going to be the talk about everything. And everybody going to see who's the next black man that's going to slap somebody. I, I don't mean to laugh. I don't mean to laugh, but it's true. Like, that's true, and that and that goes back with the whole theme of America. Yeah, that's like look, black on black crime, is like number one. Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's what cops look for. Black hey, if, on black crime. If I'm Will Packard, I'm spinning this shit. I'm like, well, on the bright side, I got your ratings up. There you go. <laughs> there you go. They're gonna fuck around and have. They gonna fuck around and have blue face baby goddamn hosting the Oscars next year. <laughs> goddamn gang members hosting the Oscars. No, they're not gonna go that far. Maybe they'll have Ludacris. Maybe they'll have Ludacris do it. Yes, a, a black dude who could, who could goddamn kind of relate to white people, but at the same time, black folks relate to them at the same time. Hey, did you hear yeah. that um that um diss track that he responded to? Who? Ludacris. Who was just Ludacris? How do you just Ludacris at this day and age? It was some chick. What was her name? Oh lord. Um. Well, it was a chick. Um. If you say if you say Doja Cat, I'm hanging no, up. No, 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 no. Um. <laughs> this chick. Um. Oh, lot. Oh, it's Lotto. And uh, this this rapper named Amaretto. They did this song talking about some not from Atlanta, and they was talking about uh-huh. Ludacris trying to say he's not really from Atlanta. So Luda, Luda just spit a verse, about a minute long verse on the same beat. Nigga murdered it, bro. Murdered it. Well, that's, that's what that's Kia what told Luda me about does. that. I said, man, Kia told me about that. She said, text me and let me know your response. I listened to that. I listened to it like five times before I sent her a text. I said, they better leave Luda alone, bro. Yeah, <laughs> that's, what, that's, that's what Luda does. Leave Luda Chris the hell alone. I said, they, better, like, I said, they better leave Luda alone. I said, don't go there with him. <laughs> That's like that's like coming after T.I. on some shit. That's what uh, Shorty Lowe, rest in peace, that's what Shorty Lowe did. Leave them folk alone with shit like that. Because them folks still got, them. They, they still got, they still got bars for bars. Yeah, yeah. That's, man, look, leave folk like that alone. If you want to question where he from, his hood, whatever, whatever, you can do that. But do that shit when you're in your house, when you're getting fucked up. <laughs> Don't come out in public when you high as ass and you just feel like, oh, well, Luda Chris ain't really from Atlanta. Fuck that nigga. I'm from more Atlanta than he from Atlanta. You can feel that way. This is America. You can feel whatever way you want. I don't like the dude's copies he wearing sitting across from me at the bar right now. 
But again, I can't just up and spit that. Because I gotta be prepared to deal with those consequences. You said you don't like to do that, what? And his coffee's that he wearing sitting across the bar from me. But I can't just up and be like, man, fuck your cabin clown. <laughs> I, I gotta be prepared to deal with those consequences. True, we have a bit of battle, I'm gonna win it. But I shouldn't be acting out like that. We've already had one of those moments. Oh yeah. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, and and my, my fight ain't gonna get seventeen million views. And of course, I'm gonna get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm gonna get arrested. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. So, you know, we can't just up and say what we feel. If you feel that ludicrous is not from Atlanta, you can voice that. But voice it in your home. How about bro that? bro, his his flow was absolutely impeccable, dog. I, ain't gonna, I, I just send it to you. I just send it to you. That shit, his flow was... At, yes, sir. His flow was nasty. So, But that's just Luda doing what Luda do. Yeah, Luda ain't, Luda ain't gonna lose a step. Luda was, is not gonna miss a step. That's just Luda... And I'm like, bro, with Luda, Luda, you told Luda not from Atlanta. When you when Luda's music was uh, first came out, how old were you? Like three? Right. You weren't even... You were still spinning around your daddy nuts. Leave Luda first alone. <laughs> Leave Ludacris the fuck alone. Ludacris has been claiming Atlanta for the longest fucking time, and he's still going to claim Atlanta. Leave that man the fuck alone. If you want to come out here and be like, well, Lil Wayne ain't really blood, that's great. That's great. Have your opinions. I don't like mac and cheese with motherfucking raisins in it. My opinion. What? There's some people out there. No, 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 Who the no, hell like makes mac and cheese? Uh, who the hell makes mac and cheese with raisins in it, bro? I don't know. There's probably some white people out here doing it. You know what? You're absolutely right. Proceed. I'm sorry. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I don't have to like it, but somebody somewhere is doing that shit. Probably right now. Yeah. But I don't have to like it. If they like it, more power to them. God bless you. But yeah, exactly. God bless. You. I'm never eating at your fucking house because you cook terrible. Because you cook terrible. Pretty merch. Pretty merch. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd be wanting to ask my white friends too, be like, what's up with the raisins and the potato salad? What's yeah, up with that yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yes. But, but it's not my place. Yeah. You invited me over. Yeah. And this is how you cook. I'm just not going to eat a lot. I'm going to make sure I eat a big lunch. Right, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, be like, no, nah, I'm good. Where the booze at? Yeah, yeah. Where the drink at? Where the drink at? Exactly. But anyway, homie. Go ahead, bro. I just wanted to, you know, I had to get some content from you about that stuff. I, I, I was crazy. I mean, I, I didn't think that you hadn't seen it, but you've seen it now. So No, it's, it's, it's just one of those things, man. When it comes to the Oscars, bro, I don't, I don't keep up with that racist that shit. And I, I, didn't, I didn't keep up with the, the fact that the Oscars was racist until Eminem said something about it. Well, I didn't. You know, I don't watch the Oscars neither. I like I, I said on the podcast yesterday, I really caught it by accident. I was watching the um Winning Time docuseries uh, on HBO about the Lakers. And I went to get my clothes out the dryer. Yeah, you should watch that shit too, bro. I was um yeah, I heard that, was good. that shit is good. I was getting my clothes out the dryer and you know, I was watching it on demand, so after the um credits ended it went back to the channel that I was watching because I did watch the opening music number. I was curious who it was going to be. Venus and Serena was there looking gorgeous, both of them. Like, Venus and Serena was looking. Of course. I mean, that mean, I mean, this is one of them rare times where I think Venus might have had Serena. You know, like, for real. Um, but when it went back to the, um, when it went back to uh, uh, ABC, I was just, you know, coming in the house with my clothes. And I heard Chris Rock roast the niggas. I'm like, oh, Lord, Chris Rock doing what he do. And when he yeah, said, yeah. Jada, love you, G.I. Jane too, can't wait to see it. I started laughing. I saw her face and all. She ain't like that shit, but it was fun. It's like, come on. Then when Will Smith walked up there and slapped him, I was like, was that real? And then the, then the camera, because like the actual TV version, the audio got completely silent. The camera started skipping, but you could see Will Smith's face get real angry. Right. And you, that's when I was like, "Yo, this shit is this shit just happened in real life." Fair enough. So you know, but like I said, man, uh, Will Smith needs to he needs to he needs to figure out what he's doing 
not only in his life, but in his marriage, man. Yeah, because Denzel, Denzel tried show. to put him on game, bro. Denzel tried to put him on game after he did that. He said, when you at your very top, that's when the devil going to come for you. And yeah. Um, yeah. maybe his issue is his marriage. Because every time Will, every time Will is about to get to the apex of something, it's always an issue that he got to deal with involving Jada. I'm just saying. Correct. That's like that's why I say that I feel like she wants to be like the fact that she's not as big a star as him. I feel like she's kind of envious of it, and that's not cool to try to tear down one your husband. You know. Correct. Because whether they have an open marriage or not, the the entanglement talk, the red, the red table talk, whatever that shit is called. That's disrespectful. Yeah, yeah. That's disrespectful as hell. Yeah, and she's disrespecting her marriage. Yeah, she's really breaking him down. Like yeah. you can't see it on his, you can't see it on his face, but you can see that man just breaking down. Yeah, yeah. He, he really is broken down. He's a former shell of himself. Yeah, you and know. He need, to, he need to, he need to address that shit like quickly. Yeah, and I mean, like, if you got a, you know, if you got a sex addiction, a sex addiction. Some you'll keep it to yourself. I mean, I wish I could meet somebody that had a, that got a sex addiction. Fair um, enough. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. But, but what I'm saying is, is that like you know you keep that to yourself, and then like we all know that like August Alzina, you know he he yeah. brought that story to life when his new album was coming out. But the, everybody could see through that. Like okay, he trying to sell albums, but yeah. but Jada just. Just Jada responding to that shit just gave it life, gave that situation, yeah, exactly. gave that subject life, and it was really she was not protecting her husband at all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She brought light to it, and then she gave it like kind of the truth. Yeah, like she, she's been doing it for years. She did the shit with Pac. She did the shit with damn it, all of her relationships when it concerns her husband goes. I mean, and think, and I understand what Will Smith has been through there. The open relationship, entanglement, red table talk. And then remember last year was the 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 the, the letter that was found that was from Tupac. Um, Correct. You know, and Correct. it's like he's been, he been, he been a meme for the last six or seven years, but you don't smack Chris Rock. You take that and you take that energy and put it somewhere else. You right, show that type of energy. Ago. Yeah. Hey, uh, he, he's, been, he's been in denial for the longest. Now, now, don't get me wrong. I've enjoyed the fact that it's been in now because this motherfucker's been putting out baller ass movies. Except baller for After Earth. Movies. After Earth was horrible. That was yeah, that, that, that was, was one terrible. of the most god awful movies yeah, I've ever that, seen in my life. Was, yeah, that was her idea. <laughs> that was absolutely her idea. She know good and well that boy can't act. <laughs> good and well that boy can't act. He don't have half of his father's genes when it comes to acting. I mean, the, the two Will Smith movies that I could honestly say that I really didn't like was After Earth. I, no, I couldn't stand it. And I never was no. I never was a fan of Wild Wild West. I just liked the song. No, 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 I couldn't say that shit. He didn't belong in that. Yeah. He didn't belong in that because it, it wasn't him. Yeah, I never was a fan of that movie. Nah, I mean, but, nah. but everything else, I mean, I ain't, I ain't never, everything else I've been a fan. Yeah, he's got a great catalog. He's put together a great body of work, and he'll go in the Hall of Fame for this shit. Well, but maybe I mean, but maybe bro, maybe bro need to look at his home life, and maybe he need to make a change. Yeah, because everybody, because like now everybody else could see it. Everybody yeah. else can see it, and the fact is, like you know, these power couples, bro, like. Mm-hmm. It's it's more like a, a a business relationship. Like they may at one point in time have been in love. I don't believe that they've been in love for a quite a long time. They I'm not. I'm sure they love each other, but I don't believe that they've been in love for quite some time. Same thing with Jay Z and Beyonce. I don't think they're right. in love. They're, it's a business. They're a power couple. It's more of a business decision. Correct. Right. Because when the money's involved and and you got kids and everything like that. You got to make the right decision when it involves all of y'all. Well, that Jada and Will's kids are grown. So really, I mean, right. hey, you can't sit here and say, well, I'm sticking around for the kids. They grown. They got their own life. They, they got their own lives. They got their own businesses. They got everything. Now, when it concerns, I think, I don't know, Will, Will needs to do, make a change. I believe so. And, and, and he's got to do it kind of starting immediately. Because the longer he's letting this shit fester up, and I think last night it, it kind of boiled over to a point where it's like, all right, now I need to address these feelings that I've been having. 
And uh, now they done boiled over to a point where he's not in control no more. Or he's starting to lose that control. Denzel tried to put him on some game. He said, when you're at your very top, that's when the devil comes. Well, you know, I'm not calling Jada the devil. No, I'm not doing that. But, you know, clearly there needs to be a change maybe for both of them. No, yeah, uh, at the very least for the both of them. Because with this shit happening, it's it's not getting any better. It's not going to get any better. And that condition that she has is treatable. It's not life-threatening. I, I, sympathize, I sympathize with her because we actually know somebody who's got that, who, who's dealing with that. I'm not going to say no names, but we know somebody. We know him. We love him. Cool. Um, but yeah. it's not life-threatening, yeah. and, it, and that doesn't excuse, the, 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 uh, doesn't excuse Will Smith's actions, and it doesn't nope. excuse her actions that she's done to the lead-up, you know, to, the lead, to lead up to this. Correct. And that goes along with that's how she might be controlling him up to this point. Yeah. She's more emotionally manipulated him than actually anything else, physically, sexually, whatever. She is controlling that man, and if he don't find a way to break this spell, this voodoo, we'll call it Baduism for the time being. I'm fucking with you. So you so stupid. We'll call it Baduism. <laughs> so fucking stupid. <laughs> we'll call it that. Um, but if he don't find a way to break that, he gonna be lost. Because, yep. I mean, that's what he needs. And maybe that right there, that break from her, maybe we'll get a bad boys four, five, and six. Hopefully not all the way up to uh, Fast and the Furious level bad boys. But uh, No, uh-uh. No. No, yeah. they, they done waited They'll too long. They done great. waited too long for that, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the yeah, yeah, crazy yeah, yeah. thing is, is that DJ Khaled came out at the very beginning of the show and said, oh, yo, and pointed at Will Smith, said, Will Smith, what's up with that bad boys for? And I was like, yeah, nigga, what's up with that bad boys for? I mean, I wouldn't mind it. Bad boys 3 was kind of my shot. Bro, I'm here, I, hey, I'm here for it. Because they said I, I, right I, I, before I, the pandemic, they said if bad boys 3 numbers do great, um, then they'll do a bad boys 4. Well, that was the highest grossing movie of 2020. Now, a lot of that had to do with the pandemic, of course. But still, before the, before the pandemic came out, what? Bad Boys for Life came out in January of 2020. The pandemic yeah. officially hit in March. Everybody was fucking with that movie. Everybody yeah. was messing with that movie. I still fuck with that shit. That shit rock. That shit damn near had more action than Bad Boys 2. I see. I, I can't put it past Bad Boys 2, but I love I love them I love them equally. Cause now because Bad <laughs> Boy Bad Boys 2 is my jump. <laughs> It had a it, it had a different appeal than Bad Boys too. Oh damn! It's the Negras. <laughs> it's the Negras. With Bad Boys Two, Bad Boys Two gave you a little bit something different. Bad Boys Three gave you who the hell is Mike Harry? Where does nigga come from? And now you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, now you know. Now with Bad Boys Four, they do it. Now we really gotta get a little some on uh, uh, Marcus. Well, really, now, if they do a Bad Boys 4, think about it. Will got a, a strange son now that's in jail. Right. That's right. in jail, but it could be you. But because he's so, his skill set is so good, you know. Because at the end of Bad Boys 3, he was like, yo, I got something. You want to help me with it? He came into the jail cell, and he was like, yeah. So it's like you have to pick up from there. So, but we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully the smack, hopefully the smack won't ruin that. I, I don't know. See, that's the thing with the smack now, because he's he's too damaged right now. He, he's 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 kind of that property that you want to get, but at the same time, you know, there's a dead body on the motherfucker. You know, somebody died on that property. Well, we'll have to see. Because he until he makes that apology, nobody messing with Will Smith right now. He, he's untouchable right now. Well, he, he ain't nobody ain't nobody gonna fuck with him right now until he if he does make that apology or if. He's he's too fragile right now. Yeah, he he need he need to he need to take a vacation right now. Yeah, he he got to get away from everything. Yeah, he need to take he a va- he need to take a vacation hurt. by himself, like for real. Correct, correct. He got to find what makes him him. She got to go find what makes her her, and he got to recenter. He has to recenter because right now, the longer he's around her and her stuff going on, he's gonna get sucked into that. And people, I must tell y'all before. Uh, well, David has always been chemically imbalanced, but you know, shut up, nigga. I'm drinking right now. It's fine. 
He actually has he actually has a degree in psychology. I'm good now, nigga. I'm drinking. I'm perfectly balanced now. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting down, so I'm good. My balance is fine. <laughs> oh man, well look, shoot, I'm like low key. I'm about to do the same thing. So yeah, so there you go. We gonna wrap. Right, we nigga. gonna we gonna wrap this up, homie. All right, big dog. All right, man. I'm going to get at you, man. Tell you, I'm going to keep asking you when the next time you're coming to Richmond, bro. I'm going to get at that. I'm going to get at that. I got I to gotta make a couple of moves, and I'm trying to make some moves in that direction. Feel you. Definitely some positive ones. Yeah. I had to come up there and see DB3's new house. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, he Definitely. moved. That's a move I got to make. He moved? No, Dwayne getting this house built. Oh yeah, I know. Okay, I didn't know. I didn't know if it was finished yet. I knew that. I just I didn't no, know if it was finished. finished. It, but, okay, but it's coming up soon. Uh, August, I think it's gonna be done. Man, text me his number because I had it. I had it in my wallet, but I lost it. <laughs> I got you. I'll text it to you. But yeah, I think it's coming up. No, actually, it's coming up uh, near July. So after his birthday, his house will be finished. Yeah, it's gonna be a new can, right? Mm-hmm. That's what I. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what he told me. Yeah, but yeah. all right, bro. Keep drinking. Oh, yeah, you ain't got to tell me, bro. I'm on it. I'm on it. <laughs> like I never left. <laughs> like I never left. <laughs> All right, bro. All right, bro. Love you, man. Love hey, you too, man. good out there, man. That's the very best. Keep your hands off each other. Right. Keep your hands, to, keep your hands to yourself. Yeah. Joke. Enjoy your joke. Learn to laugh. Live life. Facts. That's it. We can't take a joke. Hey, go cry in your bathroom. I'm gonna tell you. You cry in your fucking bathroom. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna tell you. Go cry in your bathroom. Don't do anything crazy. Go cry in your bathroom. Pretty much. Yeah. Toughen up. Yeah. Toughen up. That would be yeah. my motto for it. Toughen up. Toughen up. Toughen up, buttercup. All right. All right, bro. All right, bro. Later. Later. And um, that's a wrap.